Hello guys, Mr. LC1990 here, and this is a little squad builder, kind of a hybrid squad builder um, I've got for you today. It is a silver team, and it is a pretty beast silver team, I must say so myself. It costs a shitload of coins. I'm not going to lie about that fact. But in goal, we have Neto, who's a very good goalkeeper on FIFA 12. Now, coming into FIFA 13, he's, he's pretty good. He's a bit of a letdown, in my opinion, because I'm not really too sure. When you're in game, he just seems to be... I don't know, his, his long shots just seem to go in all the time. Reflexes are alright. He's actually quite good at reflexes at 79, I'll give him that. But apart from that, he's not amazing. He's he's a decent goalkeeper, but he's there because of the chemistry reasons, to be fair. My right back is Cicinho, of course, now playing for Sevilla. He's still got his four-star skill moves. I think he's dropped a bit in pace, I'm not 100% sure about that. Cost me 30k, which is quite a lot. But another tip I'm going to give to you now, if you've got a lot of coins or... A decent amount of coins. Look for the expensive silver players. Their prices are going up all the time, constantly. They'll hit obviously they'll hit peak price. I don't know when, but you'll you'll work it out because they'll start to drop eventually. But they're just right. Every single silver player I've seen so far, one minute they're freaking twenty k. The next day they're forty k. So it's ridiculous. I bought my silvers early this year. I left it um, late last year, and they all cost me shitloads. So I bought them early. It still cost me quite a lot. I'm not gonna lie about that, but they'll cost me a lot less than they would halfway through the season. Now my first centre back is actually Juan, who is a Inter Milan centre back. As you can see, he's got 73 pace, 78 heading, and 75 dribbling. He uh, dribbling, defending even. He cost me 5,500 coins. Now he's a non-shiny silver, but what a beast this guy is! He's six foot one. He's quite young. He's left footed, which is a bit of a annoying thing. Like I got him on the right hand side to link with the chemistry, but it doesn't really bother him too much. His weak foot is only two stars, uh, though, and his skill is only two star for a defender. But I'm not really bothered about that. But I don't know about his price rise, and he's just won there because I quite wanted to use him. Now, my other centre back is actually Corker because he is a beast. He is six foot three with 72 pace, 75 heading, and defending. 5,300 coins he cost me mainly because I bought him in that formation. I think his price is around that, I'm not 100% sure. That will probably drop because he's nothing amazing. There's other English centre backs in that league who are just as good, or some good centre backs in the Premier League, such as uh, Mariapa and Basong, I think are very, very good centre backs, who you'd probably you use, unless you obviously had to use an English one, but he's a pretty good English one, and he sits there nicely. Now, our left back is Butner. Now, he's one of the ones, prices I'm going to speak about. I was going to buy him for 60k, like, about a week or two ago. I'm not too sure when this video is going to come out week or two ago and I said I, I didn't do it because I thought right I don't know what his price is going to be then they kept on rising and rising and I thought Christ I'm going to buy him now to see if his price will rise anymore I bought him for 115k if I was to sell him now I could easily make 180k out of him easily if I sell him today and I don't even know if that's finished rising yet that's that's the, as soon as he you know as soon as in the future if he doesn't get any any more informed and he starts scoring goals for Man United etc he could be going for 200k plus easily because he's a very, quite a rare one actually there's only about five or six on the market so i decided to splash the cash on him he's actually a really really good player in the game three star skills three star weak foot left footer on the left hand side of 87 pace of course you know him as butner from manchester united we move on to our first center mid on this side which is actually going to be jordan henderson which is a bit surprising probably it's quite a young team actually this one i do think Quite a lot of young players in it. He cost me 45k. That's probably quite expensive. He was around that price when I paid for him. I don't know if he's going to be one which rises in price. He's probably going to stay around that for a bit because he's a very, very good silver. He's almost a gold at 74. With some of them start 77 at pace, 77 at passing, being his standout one, 75 at dribbling as well. A solid player, actually. Lowest stat on the card being at 67. You can't really complain about that at all. Moving into the guy who's playing center of center mid is Gardner. He's actually been moved to a silver this year. I do believe he was gold last year. But just like his brother Gary Gardner, he's got a beast of a shot on him. He's 80 at shooting for a 74. He cost me 39k again. You'll probably see him at around that price. A little bit higher, a little bit lower if you're lucky. I'm not really too sure what his price at the moment. I bought them because I wanted them in the T. Now this guy here, his price has gone up like a motherfucker. He, I got him for 70, or just over 70k as you can see there, it's Marcos Aston Sal, of course, I think he had a blue last year, his price was insane, he's 87 at pass and his pace lets him down because he is slow, but you don't really notice that for a centre mid this year, I, I've noticed his passing is key though, because passing is a massive um, thing in this game. He cost me 70k, I could easily sell him for 150 now, 150k easily, probably rising to 200k next week, so this is a lot of you know, a lot of profit I can make off some of these players just for picking them up early. So watch out for them silvers rising in price. 
we'll move on to the right winger, which is my favourite player in the game. Again, I picked him up early. It's Mike on Liete. I actually got him for 85k. I'm looking at about 120, 130k for him. If I sell him now, I'm, I'm expecting that to rise to so around 160, I would say, because that was his price last year for a while. Until he, if he gets an inform, then you never know. Prices might come down. But 85k for him, I'm willing to pay that. He's a phenomenal player, as we all know. 90 pace, five star skills on that right hand side does the job. Now the left winger, I've got. I'm, I regret. Not buying him earlier. What a player Raheem Sterling is on this game. Fantastic player. He's actually played 10 games for me. He's scoring 11 goals. He cost me 136k. I could have got him for 25k when the web app was out. And I was debating about doing it because I didn't know how many men would be on the market. Then he vanished for ages. You couldn't even find one on the market. And then I thought, sod it. I'm going to splash the cash on him. 136k for him, which... It's not a great deal, but hopefully in time his price will slowly go back up. He's, he's phenomenal. 150k is probably going to be his average price right now. People are paying a little bit over that. Moving on to the striker guy I've got. I've actually I've got some cheeky informs there, which I picked up for quite cheap. I've got Austin 18k and it's Davis for 8.2k. Just could keep hold of them for a little bit, see if their prices rise. Not really too bothered if I make a loss on them. But we've got a Leandro who is I got for 7,900 in striker. He's a preset centre forward. So, pretty good deal. I actually picked up on him. Now, he's an absolute beast. Played nine, scored eight. He links in up front nicely there. We're going to move on to the bench now because this has got some other silvers on here who I'm expecting to rise in price. We've got Leitner from Borussia Dortmund. Paid 18k for him if I was to sell him now. 25k easy. I'm saying this now. The date today, if I just quickly look at my phone is 2nd of October, Tuesday the 2nd of October, not too sure when I'm going to upload this video because i got a lot of videos done to upload, so getting ready for, obviously I'm just enjoying FIFA 13 at the moment, so just pumping out the videos, having a good time of it, so I'm not too sure when it's going to be uploaded, so don't take prices, which I'm telling you now, for you know, just in case they've changed since the time, but I was saying 2nd of October is the day today, so 18k I paid, I could get 25k for him today. Now Pogba, I've not checked his price since I bought him. He's a high demand player, of course, plays for Juventus now. He's had a massive upgrade from, I think, was he a 55 bronze in FIFA 12? But he had such insane stats. But he's got good stats again, playing for Juventus. Paid 8,100 for him. I'm expecting to see, I don't know, he's probably over 10k, I'd imagine. As I said, I haven't really looked at his price. Now Danilini, I've looked at his price recently. 59,500 I paid for him, 91 pace, right winger, 5 star skiller. You could easily sell him now for 110k. No, sorry, no, not 110k. He is not Mike Onliete. He is, he's 80k actually, sorry I'm saying that. Mike Onliete is about 110k, something along those lines. I've actually lost track of who I am with. But Danilino, yeah, Kelvin, 60k I paid for him. Again, these are just bench silvers. Just, as I said, I'm hoping they rise in price. I think I could probably sell him for 70k now. His price is sticking around because I think a lot of people put off by his pace. But he's still amazing five-star skiller in this game. Now, Lee Trundle, the five-star skilling man. I actually got him in a pack, which is quite decent, actually. I think he sells for like 30 to 40k, but... I'm probably going to sell him pretty soon because I don't know what his price is going to be like because he's shocking to be fair, because his stats are so bad. If you want, like, I brought him on when I was comfortable in a game. He played one, he scored twice. Happy days. I think the guy had fitness levels were so poor. I just walked through with him, scored twice. He's got quite a good shot on him, actually, for a left foot. I think he smashed one in from, like, 20 yards. Quite a decent finish. We're picking him out of a pack in 4-4-2. Pretty happy with that. Next player I've got is a Bon Lahore, which you're probably going to not be happy about, but he fits in there as well if I wanted to play him, gets the 9 chemistry, and the chemistry's messed up again, it's saying my goalkeeper's getting 6 chem, I'm not really too sure what that is, yeah, you've got a little bug, they're not getting 6 chem, they are getting the 9 chem, but yeah, back to Bon Lahore, actually paid 130k for him, he's paid, he's come on 10 times and scored 20 goals, he's incredible in this game, which I quite, I'm disgusted to say, because I, I always hated him in the last game, but having him's good, not going to lie to you, it's very nice to have coming off your bench, or even starting sometimes, but, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, 130k I pay for him. I, I could sell him today for 150k. So, again, it's, it's, it's profit, which is amazing. Quintero, I actually pay 39k for. I haven't checked his price. I do believe R9 Rai picked him up for like 8k or 15k or something like that. Not sure if he's sold him yet, but he's an actually, actually quite a decent little player. I've only brought him on the once, but he looked phenomenal when I brought him on. And he scored the goal. He's only 5'5", five five, which is a bit of a letdown for him. 5-star skills, as I said there. 
And yeah, 39k, I'm hoping he probably rises in price. So I've converted him to a striker. I think he's a preset centre forward. So I'm hoping he rises in prices, but I'm not too sure. Now, Del Delufu or whatever from Barcelona B team. I paid 5.5k for him. I'm I'm happy with that. His price was around 12k the other day and then it dropped and then it went back up. I'm thinking around 10k average for him. So we've made probably double our money on him if I wanted to sell him now. But again, I'm going to keep hold of him, see if his price changes and see what I can do from that. I've got a lot of just random five-star skillers here. I bought this Gary Mackie Stephen who plays in uh, Scotland for Dundee United. 85 pace, five-star skiller. 15k, I'm happy with that in 41212. Probably selling for about 18 to 20k as of now. Quincy Owusu Bay. In 4-3-2-1 right winger, which is quite a decent formation for a right winger. I play that a lot. I'm sure other people do as well. 5-star skills, 5-11, 7,800. He's over 10k at the moment, but I'm not too sure his price will stay at. Because he's not in a high demand league, so he's a bit of a ugh, one. Same with this guy here. He's not in a high demand league. He's in whatever that league is. So I actually converted him to a striker, which was probably a bad move because... I got the centre for the strike card for 300 coins when the web app was out, so it's not really bad for me on the coins. But he's not really striker material. He's only 76 at pace and 64 at shooting. His dribbling's good. He's probably a better cam or something along those lines. But 13k I pay for him at this moment in time. He's selling for 20k. But I'm not too sure what his price will do in the future. And Lukaku is my final player I've got. I bought him for 52k. If I was to sell him today, I would get 60k for him uh, there or thereabouts. So as you can see, I'm basically I'm putting my money into silvers at the moment. And I could sell them all on for today and make a massive profit. Especially on the likes of Aston Sal and Butner. The two informs and probably... And obviously Mike on Liete, ones like that I can make quite nice informs on. But I'm going to keep hold of them for a minute. I'm playing games with them actually. And I've managed to get... My record up to 55 wins, 10 draws, 20 losses. Nice even amounts in there. Well, not even. 55 is obviously an odd. But I mean, like, nice, you know, looking amounts. So that's the end of this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. No gameplay, unfortunately, because the video is far too long for that. And it's basically, it's a squad builder hybrid slash little tip for you. If you've got, as I said, if you've got the coins to splash the cash on some silvers, l look into it a little bit more. Don't go splashing the cash like I have here. Because I have, I've researched it quite a bit and I found some of these players are rising in price dramatically. And it's, it's good to watch actually because if you've got one and then you're like, wait, I've made about 20k profit in a week. It's fantastic on one player that is. So it's good to do and if you find your own little method, sure to leave it in the comments. Tell me what you've done. Tell me the best trade you've got so far and if this little method's worked for you. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe and I'll be back with some more of these soon. So thank you very much and bye.